The last reunion of Prince William and Harry was at Prince Philip's funeral on April 17, 2021. Though the invitation list was only up to 30 people, Prince Harry was one of those invited people. Despite the damage, he caused his family many challenges. Before the funeral, the only topic Prince Harry and William were believed to discuss was the Diana statue, down to the rumors from a source who spoke to Us magazine exclusively on this news. At the funeral, they had time to speak to each other, and knowing that there is tension between the brothers, it was surprising that people didn't see this through the limited number of videos the brothers were in together. So, we like to details to that and beyond in this episode of our Royal Mini Documentary series. Welcome to Royal Unusual, where we share unusual facts and interesting events of the royal family. I'm your host. We know that the distant brothers will be united once again for the unveiling of the Princess Diana statue at Kensington Palace, which will be held publicly. Such an event is believed to help Prince William and Harry improve their relationship, which has appeared to be damaged since Megxit. They must now put their differences aside to honor their late mother, Princess Diana who died when Prince William and Harry were respectively only 15 and 12 years old. The first news on the commission of the statue was reported in January 2018. Through that news, William and Harry said the following sentences in a joint statement. Although it was planned that the statue will be unveiled later that year, they confirmed a new date last August due to the COVID-19 pandemic, again with a joint press release. Reporting the details, the statue will be in Diana's favorite spot, which is the grounds of Kensington Palace, the Sunken Garden. In 2017, the garden was already turned into a beautiful tribute to Diana on its 20th anniversary. Kensington's Hat Garden scene harkens straight through the memorials of Diana, featuring a terrific show of Diana's favorite flowers, forget-me-nots, white lilies, white roses, tulips, narcissi and daisies. Besides, the color scheme was mainly based on Diana's personal preferences of whites and creams. The date of unveiling is on June 1, 2021, which is such an important date aside from being the unveiling date, as it is the 60th birthday of their late mother Diana. A very famous sculpture, Ayn Rand Broly, who has been well known for the design of the image of Her Majesty the Queen made for the UK coins, was a sculpture of the statue. Knowing that the relationship between brothers is a bit tense in the wake of the Oprah interview, they put differences aside and worked with the sculpture very closely, as far as said by a source to son. It will have been signed off by William and Harry, that much I do know. I know sculpture I am ranked broadly that work closely with the boys and I think it will be incredible. On the contrary, the Duke of Cambridge and the Duke of Sussex have also been reported by a source that they insisted on separate speeches, since not being a united front would have been totally understood from their body language during a joint speech. The source had directly rumored the following. As a cause of the heightening tensions between brothers, Meghan, the Duchess of Sussex, is expected to stay in their home in Montecito, California with Archie and newborn Lilibet. She is, in essence, busy with motherhood and her storybook, The Bench, which is based on a bond between a dad and his child from her point of view and dedicated to Prince Harry and Archie. 
At the point, where Prince Harry will attend the unveiling of the Princess Diana statue. A palace insider reported to Page Six that Harry would absolutely be there for that important event. Yet, they added, No one's going to tell Harry not to come, but how does he face his family? Harry's still coming, we're told, but how will it all go down? Will he just turn up on the day without having seen them beforehand? On account of lost words, an expert recently warned the Duke of Sussex against making a big mistake with his trip to the UK for the statue. As sourced by Giacchilli, the topic arose during a conversation between royal expert Charlie Ray and Kevin O'Sullivan on talk radio. Mr. O'Sullivan was the first to weigh in and claim. Prince Harry was slightly stunned by the cold shoulder reception he got from many royals. This is hardly surprising considering he called them a lot of racists on television. I suspect that he may not come back in July. Despite all of these ill speeches, we hope to see the brothers put their differences aside and unveil the statue of importance to the royal family in relative peace and, as I might put it, in a spirit of brotherhood. Thanks for watching. If you have come this far and liked our content, please consider liking, commenting, sharing, subscribing and ringing that notification bell so you would never miss our weekly content. Until next time, have a great day.